Praise God, praise God. Um, now, you guys know, I'm going to go ahead and do that disclaimer, but you guys know there are always, when is a very powerful message, or even it, it doesn't have to be just powerful, let's just be real, it just has Apostle Deanna Dixon name on it or spirit. These people do not like it. That's why they always messing with my life. So I do apologize. I did listen to it. I always go back and listen to it. And one thing I noticed is that it is very choppy. So I'm going to try to do a recap of everything because especially when God gives me something that is so intricate, I have to get it to you guys. And, and so I'm going to have to be relentless. And that's just the way it is. So the title was, Are You a Minister of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, or a Minister? of Satan the devil and what I was saying is that there are characteristics of being a man or woman of God that we should follow we're not perfect but we follow it we follow it we follow it we flow with it we don't compromise the true room that we're not going to compromise we don't care if we lose everybody we don't care if you walk away we don't care if this happened or that happened when you are truly a child of God you stand for God and you will stand to the end to death come on somebody hallelujah and there are characteristics it's like honesty, integrity, um, demonstration of the power of God. You know, you walk a certain way, you talk a certain way, you act a certain way. You try to do what's upright. You, you, you are leading people to God and not yourselves. You know what I'm saying? Because when you are truly a child of God, you know that God is our God. It's not us. We're not that great. As a matter of fact, I couldn't do anything but by God. Come on, somebody. I couldn't be who I am but by the spirit of God, the power of God, the glory of God that belongs to God. God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's the difference. The ministers of Satan and, and they have different characteristics. And I was going on and I was talking about how their characteristics. OK, well, let's talk about that. The people that are uh, um, the elite. They're ministers of Satan. That's why they create chaos, confusion, fear, pandemonium. You see, right now they got the coronavirus. Let me tell you something. That's that's just a forefront. I, I'm I, I'm praying about what they got coming in the back. You see, every they, they want everybody panic and be in fear because they planning up something. I'm gonna tell you, like I said in the last video, we're gonna look up one day it's gonna be martial law. We're gonna look up one day it's gonna be new world order. We're gonna look up one day it's gonna be this. Y'all think it's a game? I'm telling you. You don't have to believe me. Just remember I said it. So. The characteristics of God is that we endure like a soldier. We go through what we got to go through. We're not trying to draw people to us. We want you to see the spirit of God in us that you are provoked to want God more and more. Follow God, obey God, love God, know God, ask God, send me your spirit, send me your anointing because that's the only way you're going to be able to walk as a true child of God anyway. You can't walk in this flesh because flesh is a mess. Come on somebody, hallelujah. As per the ministers of Satan, that's all they do. You know, let's start, like I said, the elite, they like to do that. People in Hollywood, what, what they do? They put on TV, murder, mayhem, love. They neck it all the time. Why y'all don't understand? Everything that we have watched over the years, we have become. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going a little bit to the left because I feel the spirit going a little bit to the left. Especially as a black culture, and, and I'm not making this a color thing or a race thing, but especially the black culture. Y'all want to know when drive by started and when y'all started killing each other, when y'all started looking at boys in the hood, minister society, whatever they wanted to project into the black neighborhoods, that's exactly what we became. They start putting um, grocery stores on every corner and selling y'all malt liquor. Y'all know what I'm saying. Oh, E, don't play with me. Y'all know what I'm saying. I know what I'm talking about. I watched it happen. As a matter of fact, in my younger days, I was part of it. So I know what I'm talking about. Everybody want to be a thug. Everybody want to sell drugs. As a matter of fact, everybody want to be Nino Brown. Come on, somebody. Y'all know it's true. And so it, it, right now in the black community, the guy that goes to college, he a wimp. But the guy who sell drugs, oh, he he, he, he the man because he got bands and he got money. Oh, I'm going here. I, 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 I boy, daddy shouldn't have never made me redo this because I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. So now you, you, what you have? Everything that they have put into our spirit. Oh, come on, somebody. Ministers of Satan. That's what they did. Every one of us are a minister. Everything you do, everything you say. My question is, what are you ministering from day to day? Are you talking well to people? Are you trying to get people saved? Come on, somebody. And what I mean by that is ministering the gospel to them. Or are you are you lying, cheating, doing all this other stuff? Because we are always ministering. Make it un make it understood right now. You are always in a ministering state. What's coming out of your mouth? What's coming out of your spirit? What are you doing? 
going from day to day. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The ministers of Satan, they're on their job. I'm going to be honest with you. Almost more than the children of God. I mean, they got them nasty movies coming out. They got the witch movies coming out. They doing uh, even Disney. Everybody's doing witchcraft, showing kids how to do witchcraft. They killing kids. They sacrificing kids. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying? The ministers are Satan are on their job. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Now it's time for the ministers of God to get on their job. What we're supposed to be doing, watching our gates. Do not conform to this world. God said not to conform to this world. We're not supposed to be like this world, but to be honest with you, that's what we want to do. I mean, let's go here. When did the church start getting cool? Y'all know what I'm saying. People wearing their shades. You got your phones. You got your earpiece on in church. Do you remember 50 years ago? Maybe you don't. 40 years, 30 years. Well, I remember at least 20, 30 years ago when I was a teenager. When we came in church, we didn't have anything. As a matter of fact, the, the spirit of God was so prevalent that... I would take out my gun because I felt something. I didn't know it was the spirit at the time because I'm a young woman. I didn't know. I didn't know. Seven. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So all I'm saying is that this stuff is real. This stuff is real. The spirit of God is real. So is the spirit of the Antichrist. And that's what we're seeing in this last hour. But God, like God said, the line is being drawn. The line is being drawn, said the Lord. We will know who you are by your fruit. Come on, somebody. How do you, you can't, you see, you can't fake that. You can say anything out your mouth. And I'm going to tell you, people have the gift of gab. And that's, why, that's what they do on Facebook and YouTube. Everybody's getting a dollar because you know you get paid for, you, I'm going here. You know you get paid. We get paid from YouTube, right? On how many views. Oh, I'm going here. You know you get paid, right? Do you know you get paid for on um, Facebook too? Oh, come on, somebody. I got my music going on Facebook's channel. Some of them. You get paid if, if so many people see them. I'm just being real with y'all because y'all need to know why people are doing what they're doing. Y'all thinking they just really love y'all and they just want y'all to have the word of God. Let me tell you something. They, they refuse. And you will always know because they're subjects. Yeah, I'm going on here today. They shouldn't have never messed with me this morning. Let me tell you something. You can always tell who's trying to get something because they're subject. Their subjects are about prosperity or their subject is about a star something that'll grab y'all attention i only do that when god provokes me to i'm gonna talk about what god said to talk about to his people because that's what y'all need to hear i'm not gonna just stay where the where, what they're going on in the news and this and that no 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 because guess what that's entertainment oh come on somebody i just said something that's entertainment god says speak my truth speak my word prepare my people that's what god said hallelujah to his name so that's just real talk. So the ministers of Satan are always trying to pull on your spirit, trying to get you to come in the flesh, trying to get you to compromise, trying to get you to come to sin, trying to get you to sin. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Well, the spirit and the ministers of God are trying to get you to say, say no to sin. Be strong in the Lord. Be of good courage. Obey God. You know what I'm saying? Stand for God. That's what this is about. But the world love its own. Come on, somebody. And that's what I asked. If the world truly love all these leaders like they do, are they really gods? Y'all, I want that to touch you. But the Bible says that if you love the world and if you have friendship with the world, that's an enemy to God. Now, y'all don't like that scripture because it's the truth. Because what y'all like to do is y'all like to act like just because they say Jesus and they sing a few songs about Jesus that they love Jesus. The devil is a liar. So are you. The truth is the truth is the truth. Do they have the spirit of God? Because God says that they have a, 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 a they have a, a appearance of godliness, but denying the power thereof. If you don't have the spirit of the living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, then you are not gods. I don't care what you say. And, and we, we get it twisted because, well, I'm a good person. You can be a good person all day long. Are you living righteously? Are you living the way God tells you to? Are you obeying the laws of God? There it is right there. The difference between the ministers of God and the ministers of Satan, we try to obey God's laws. Notice I said try because you're not going to always make it. You're going to fall sometimes. Just get back up. But ministers of Satan, they laugh at God's laws. They don't like God's laws. As a matter of fact, they have no laws. Anything goes, baby. They'll do whatever, however, whenever. Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's the truth. And they'll, so, they'll sell their anointing. They'll sell everything. For a piece of morsel and catch that in the spirit. So I just want to do a recap, but y'all do understand, and I want and I, I shouldn't have to reiterate it. Y'all know them people don't like me. Let's be real. Because I, I, I know what I carry. I'm not trying to be arrogant or prideful. That's not my nature. I know what I carry. 
carry. I know I carry the anointing of God. They don't like that because when you listen to a person that's anointed, you're listening to the spirit of God in them and the spirit of God can heal. The spirit of God can deliver. The spirit of God can provoke. The spirit of God is real. Hallelujah. They don't like that. They don't like that. Hallelujah. So I pray. Yeah, I like that. She said they want you to make good vibes. Right. That's why even the ministers, um, like people who sing are ministers. These guys, these rappers that are singing about kill, kill, kill. Why y'all think people killing each other? Why y'all think those rappers dying? This not a game. Whatever you minister to in the, in the spirit, it ministers to in the spirit. That means whatever you're producing, it manifests. That's why you have to be careful. That's why I prefer to eat the word and life or in the power of the tongue and those that eat it, love it, eat the fruit thereof. You have to be careful what you minister, what you say, because words are power. Words give life to what you say, what you feel, what you know. So I pray that you um, this one is not chopped up, but, uh, you know, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, y'all get the drift. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon, Roll Life Soldier, for this is who you are. God bless.